Gonna give it a go, gonna give it a go. All right, at the base of Mount Morrison, we're gonna give it a go today. We're gonna give it a go. A nice little jaunt up the mountain. And of course, we will talk about roads, trails, ultra running, marathon running, the differences, and what I am uh, trying to walk the line with this year in 2019. And I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts about the differences about trail running, road racing, all that good stuff. All right. It's going to hurt. Let's go. I think we got a YouTube family. Oh man, I love it. I just love working hard and I didn't film on the way up. I didn't even wear a vest. 26 28 is what my watch says oh baby i've run this mountain probably 30 times in my life last four years and uh that king of the mountain has been a doozy a doozy to chase down oh baby you inspired me on the way up you inspired me on the way up ah! Oh, this is Mount Morrison. Uh, I threw my hat and my sunglasses to the ground about a half mile back because I was getting too hot. I just had to go for it. Shnikes. Woo! All right. Back at the car. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I'm really excited. All right. Got, it, got some water, got some food, got the camera, and now we're going back out up uh, up in, uh, where am I, Red Rocks, and then over to uh, Mount Morrison over there, or sorry, Mount Falcon over there. I just did Mount Morrison. Oh man, keep dreaming, keep dreaming, all right? Keep, gotta put that work in. I feel like I've had a really solid first two months of 2019 but we're just getting started. We are just getting started. All of us here in your train, like patience and persistence, patience and persistence. All right, let's go, come on. Wait, where am I going? Going this way. <laughs> All right, oh man. Trip report for everyone local in Colorado. Mount Morrison is pretty, now listen, a snowstorm is on the way. But Mount Morrison is clear right now. Mount Falcon is a muddy mess, as you saw on the way up. All right, looking out here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in uh, the camera, but this is Mount uh, Morrison across the way where my finger's pointing. There we go, there we go. That's, uh, that's where, that's where I just came from. All right, love you all, love you all. Ah, it's gonna take a little, take a little rest. Have a great weekend, by the way. Mmm, rest, relax, massage, coffee. You might be getting a long run in. That's beautiful too. Man, you guys are, you, you are inspiring me. Oh my goodness, what a world. What a beautiful world, okay. And we're back in the studio. Oh my goodness, what a day. Okay, getting to this in one minute. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay with me. All right, today's run. I want, I'm not gonna talk about how long it was or what I did overall, but those first three miles were pretty exciting. Really the first mile and a half. Mount Morrison is just outside of Denver, Colorado. If you Google Red Rocks Amphitheater, the Beatles have played there, Johnny Cash, uh, Neil Young, all the heart, all the rock and roll folks. I don't think Elvis was ever there. That would be cool. I don't think I, I don't think he was ever there. But all the big musicians have come through Red Rocks. Well, 
just above Red Rocks is Mount Morrison. That's where I was running today, trying to go for the course record. And a shout out to Brandon. Brandon, I, I've never met. We're not connected anywhere on Strava or anywhere else, but Brandon's time on Mount Morrison, I think he set the course record in 2014, and literally thousands of runners have gone up that mountain since then. It was a stout stout record. I mean, I was digging and digging. You saw me at the top there. I was breathing and it was a, it was a, I'm still like feeling it to like 10 hours later or no, eight hours later. So anyway, shout out to Brandon for a great time on Mount Morrison. And it was fun just to, uh, to gun for it. And yes, this is kind of, okay. Just a little bit of my strategy. Confidence. One week, yeah, one week from today, when you're watching this, I will be doing the America's Uphill Race in Aspen, Colorado, going up the ski mountain. And so today's run was, it, the whole idea behind it was to build confidence going into the race. So you might wanna think about that for your racing. Um, I think a week out is perfect. Maybe like 10 days, seven to 10 days out, do something that will build your confidence. Like you know you can, you can gun for it, whether it's a, whether it's a you know like a, a a segment on Strava that you've been you've been working toward, or maybe it's a great workout on the track, and you're like, okay, I need to hit eight by four hundred in you know sixty two seconds or whatever your times are. Uh, so anyway, that's a little bit of my strategy, and that's what I did today. But now I want to talk about real briefly ultra marathons, marathon racing. As you know, I am attempting to run the Cleveland Marathon. Actually race my brains out at the Cleveland Marathon. Go as fast as possible. So it's March 1st. When you're watching this, it's March 2nd. So January, February, now we're in March. I've been building that aerobic engine that we've talked about over the last two months. I think I've done a pretty good job, actually. I think we're gonna hit 85 miles this week if all goes well this weekend. And uh, the, again, we're just building that aerobic engine, building the foundation, and because of that foundation, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. But it's hard for me, it's hard, YouTube family, to transition from trail running, mountain running, ultra marathons, to road racing when I can go out and snag a snag a king of the mountain today and it's just like I love the mountains I love running up mountains and so I'm excited for Cleveland but just know like it has been a wrestling match really over the last probably like three or four months like trying to figure out hmm should I achieve my dream of racing a marathon once in my life. And frankly, like life goes on, you know that. Like as my uncle always says, time waits for no man. And so seizing the moments when you feel like, okay, I can go for my first 10K. I can go for my first, you know, marathon effort, uh, you know, on a fast marathon course, coming along this first marathon journey with me, because frankly, I'm trying to figure out like, okay, marathon racing, and I, I get it, in about two weeks, two to three weeks, I gotta think, March, yeah, th two to three weeks, I have to say no to the trails, not entirely, but I have to cut back. I'm gonna start to cut back. It's gonna be so weird, so hard, for me to cut back from that vertical, I, I don't wanna say addiction, but that vertical love, and come down to, De back down to Denver at 5,000 feet, and start to go fast start to go fast whether it's more intense lactate threshold runs and yes i know it's going to happen i'm gonna go in a circle around a track just for you guys out there that love the track it's i gotta do it i know i've got to do it 1k repeats with you know two minutes rest it's like it's gotta happen so and so i'm just gonna say it now as i go for the speed i'm gonna need your your accountability to make sure like no, Seth, you can't go run another 14er. You got to go to the track and get that speed because, listen, it's going to be fast in Cleveland. I know it's going to be fast based on past winners, and uh, we're going to rock and roll. We're going to rock and roll out there. Okay, and the question of the day. Have you transitioned from a, a, a particular discipline within racing, whether it's from the roads to the, to the trails, from ultra marathons to back down to the marathons or the 10K? or maybe from the track to the roads or vice versa like have you and maybe you do everything and that's fine too but like 
Do you have a specialty? Have you have you gone through a transition like I'm kind of trying to go through myself in 2019? So that's the question of the day. Thanks for hitting it up down below. And um, here we go. Let's do this. Yeah, let me grab my knife here. My, my trusty knife. Here we go. Oh my goodness. I actually know what's in here, but I don't know. Well, I'm just going to open it. All right, you ready for this? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, are you ready for this? Oh my goodness, are you ready? Oh, this is hard. All right, here we go. Here we go, YouTube family. Woo! Seek beauty, work hard and love each other oh. Oh. oh oh yes oh that was nice this is incredible okay so there's the baby blue oh my goodness oh my oh oh my all right i'm not gonna i'm not gonna show them all to you right now oh my good all right i just i just gotta open these Oh my god. This is blowing my mind and as you know, I I love I love quality whether it's with the t-shirt material or the design and frankly, I think we nailed it. I actually I know we I know we nailed it. So, here's the deal. They're not available yet the t-shirts and keyword today t-shirts. All right, keyword cuz guess what? I think we're almost ready. Now that I've seen this, it's like it's it's basically time now i just got to make sure we may we have the online ordering ready i love you guys thank you for being here thanks for coming up the mountain you you pushed me up that mountain today demore global running all the runners in there and everyone on youtube i was thinking about you up mount morrison today so thank you and yes we're gonna get t-shirts out the door sooner rather than later <sighs> seek beauty work hard and love each other and just love each other see you tomorrow oh baby